Good morning and welcome back. This will probably be episode 2 of the gearbox and clutch change on the 350Z. And as you can see, we are packed and ready to go. Um, I'm taking the stripped down gearbox to have it reassembled at A to Z gearbox and diff in Pretoria. It's about a, a 40 minute drive or half an hour or just over half an hour drive um, because there won't be traffic at the moment. Um, just a top tip, when you take apart a gearbox, you do not want any rust, dirt, rust, I mean even pitting um, on the parts. So what I've done is um, I covered each part in oil and then put it into little individual Ziploc bags. This way you keep all the stuff together. Oh, and you also see I put, a, I put a little cable tie around each gear set so that the stuff sort of stays together. And irrespective of what it is, I just covered everything in oil. You can always wash off oil, but you know, the moment you start getting rust and pitting and all kinds of things on it, um, that becomes quite a bit of a problem. In addition to that, we've also loaded up the spare um, 350Z gearbox because I'm probably going to make a stop at BB Motorsport a little bit later and I might make a, make a separate video of this which is the differences between the gearbox that goes onto a DE or rev up motor and um, the HR or I, th I think this is called the CD009 or CD00A um, but the one that actually goes on to the HR motor uh, because and I'll explain in that video the differences between the motors and why there's a different bell housing and and bolt setup over here in any case let's get going and we'll chat again when we get to a to z gearbox Check in the description for links and telephone numbers and contact details. Time is money, so we're not going to waste any time and get stuck right into assembling the gearbox. And obviously we're going to start with the main shaft. So this is one of the reasons you don't want to try this job at home. You need fairly specialized equipment. Just look at the size of this press. Also this is precision work. Um, Gearboxes have very fine tolerances, so we really don't want to mess with that, we want it right. First gear, right? No, six. Six gear. Okay. Yeah. Das ist ein von da, er geht so der Balliki-Einheit. Mm -hmm. And I might confuse, I can't even 
hoekom moet je niet keer balik je net niet reis niet. O, en dan zouden zakje wat drie andere bolbiedings net wat ik niet weet waar het uitgekomen is nu. Zal het krijgen? So that is fourth gear with its selector. So which one is this then, John? Is this fourth gear? A oh, third gear. One, two. One, two. Yeah. Okay. One, one, two, six, five. One, two, six, five. Yeah. Okay. Bigger gear, more torque, less speed. At this stage, we also introduced the counter shaft to make sure that things fit as they're supposed to and line up, and just generally for sanity's sake. I think it just makes sense to do it this way around. And just like that, it starts looking like a gearbox. Big circular. Right, the selectors are in. And this was quite a mission because of some interlocking stuff that needs to go there somewhere but they're in and what does that plate do? Bearing retainer Bearing retainer, yeah. okay Reverse gear. This one, reverse counter shaft. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. This is called a baffle plate. But that is called an oil gutter. This is where those little magnets go. It's supposed to catch all the debris and stuff out of the gearbox. Reverse gear and reverse gear selector. Just like that. I like it to the gearbox. And just like that, through the magic of the internet and video editing, time lapsing, we have an assembled gearbox. Right, guys, and that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Back at our home workshop, obviously. 
the box is all intact and um, assembled. I just want to again give a massive shout out to John over at A to Z Different Gearbox. Um, all the links to his webpage and his location and all his contact details will be down in the description. He did us a, a huge service today in um, being able to actually assemble the box so quickly. Keep in mind that in South Africa the country basically comes to a standstill from about the 16th of December up until first second week of, of January and when I phoned John yesterday he said you know what before we get very busy bring that box um, and I, I sort of I put this the day aside I thought that we were going to be busy for for a while you know I didn't expect that he would get straight onto it but when I arrived there this morning we unpacked the box and he immediately started assembling it and and that just means so much to me so thanks to stack um, part three of this video is going to be sticking that box back into the 350z i still don't have any idea how we're going to get that thing back into the garage here up the little hill but um yeah see you soon on part three